Good morning, Butuan. Good morning, Caraga. This is On the Sunny Side. My name is Rochelle. Good morning, Philippines. Good morning, world. This is Mark Bon for On the Sunny Side. And welcome to the first episode of our university webcast. And this is live from the FSUU main, main campus, campus in Butuan City. Yes. So what is this on the sunny side? Our schedule is every Tuesdays and Thursdays, Thursdays at 10.30 to 11.30 in the morning. Yes. And you can watch us live through our official FB pages. And that is FSU Butuan, Butuan City, City Philippines. Philippines. Yes, that's our main page. What okay? else? And then we have the basic education or the FSU basic education. So if you want to be updated with the, um, the updates coming from the elementary, high school, and senior, senior, senior high, high school, and senior yes, high. then please like and also share this FB page. You can also see us. We are being shared on the official FB page of the Bishop Pueblos uh, Senior High School. And aside from that, all our other programs and offices yes. have their own FB pages. So you can uh, go to these pages if you want to have a trip around the pages of FSUU. Okay, so what are the, the, the FB pages we have? Okay, so uh, we have departmental pages. From the first, we have from FSU but one, uh, FSU Business Administration Program, the Supreme, Supreme, Supreme Student. Student Government. We have FSU College of Law. Okay, we have also FSU Criminal Justice Education Program. We have the Engineering and Technology Program. And then uh, for our professional uh, studies, we have the FSUU Graduate Studies. You can also find us on FSUU Hospitality Management. And also FSU Nursing Eagles. And our very own FSUU Social Sciences. Yes, FSU Social Sciences. We are from that division, you know. <laughs> yes. And then um, F F FSUU Teacher Education Program. FSUU Learning Resource Center. FSUU Office of the Registrar. And FSUU Student and Alumni Affairs Office. And I think these department departmental pages or office pages are doing great with disseminating information, right? Uh, uh, we are one of the admins of the FSU Social Sciences, and we were uh, we are overwhelmed with the different inquiries. And Be because that is now the new normal. Yes, and we have an online campus. Yes, and that is what we'd like to talk to them today. Yes, and it's good that you uh, you can um, you can connect and communicate with these pages in order to address those questions and queries. But yes. first of all, I I would like to tell them why the name on the sunny side. Mm -hmm. Okay, before we proceed with uh, <laughs> yes. the details. Uh, Why the name On the Sunny okay. Side? Okay. So, uh, it's On the Sunny Side because you know that we are facing a pandemic right now. And we believe that, uh, not we believe, but we know that there are so many challenges and also negative things happening in our society. But we choose the brighter side. Thus, it's called On the Sunny Side. And aside from that, don't forget, Urians, it's Lucia Lux Vestra. We let our light shine. So we always choose to be on the sunny side right. amidst all yes. the difficulties and the challenges of our times. Always be on the sunny, sunny side. side. Okay. okay. So in this page, or I mean in this webcast, um, you can also ask us different questions. I know that you have... Um, questions regarding the the the, oh, the online campus yes, that we have now. Campus, How uh, does an online class look like? Yes. Which will be our topic in a while. So stay close. So you will not be surprised at all when classes start on August twenty four. And that is also one of the reasons why we are doing this live webcast mm -hmm. because basically this is to bridge the gap between. Uh, no, not the gap, but. Um, to link the students and also and the, to, and the university, yes, yes, the university campus. Because you're doing your online class, it doesn't mean we're no longer here. We're still up and alive and always here. You, well, as, as we had said earlier, we are all over the Facebook pages. Yes. Well, and, and aside from that, we would like to talk to them. That's why on the comment section, you can post your questions yes. and we'll try to provide you the questions. Yes. We encourage you to um, comment. And we'll do yeah. shout outs. Yes, and also shout out because okay. we will do greetings. Let's huh? do the first shout out. Okay. Where is the hello, of course? So the person who thought of this, hello, Father Kits. Hi, Father Kits. He's always <laughs> watching on yes. the sideline. Hello to Mr. Monita Centino. Mm -hmm. Hello to Anmay. Anmay. Uh, uh, Anmay is our... Um, 
previous student. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. We have our colleagues from the ASP. Hello to Joseph. Yes. To Donna. Mom Donna. Mom Donna. Hi, Mom team. Donna. We have Mom Bell. Hello also to Rumel. Friday and everybody. <laughs> hello to Mildred. Sciences. Hello to Bell. Okay. And hello also to our friends watching us from Cebu. Hello to Mishka. Thank you for joining us. And, you know, we we're, we're, have a lot of things in store for you, especially to explain to you about our online class. Now, let's yes. start with the FSUU Learn. Okay. What is the FSUU Learn? We have here a short video to tell you what it is all about. Are we okay. ready with the video? That's our FSUU Learn. What yes. is FSUU Learn? It is something that is very important for yes. us as we launch into the new normal, as we launch into the online classes. Well, we know that there are so, uh, as mentioned earlier, there are so many topics that we can discuss in the following episode. But right now, we will be focusing on, um, we consider this as an important topic. Why? Because I think many of you are asking already, what's inside an online class or What's how, does your, uh, yeah, how does it work and how can we uh, use or utilize this platform uh, that, that is being mentioned or announced in our FSUU page? So uh, allow us to bring you into that as we go into our first webcast this morning. So first okay. of all, FSUU Learn, what is that? It is a platform. Yes, it's a platform. Using. It's a learning management system that is being used for an online class. And we that. are the first in Butuan to use this FSU, this is actually powered by Neo LMS. Yes. And we are the first to use that in Butuan. Actually, right now, we are having our summer classes. Yes. I am. Are you teaching summer classes? Yes, I'm teaching two subjects in the summer. And uh, these two subjects, it's quite interesting, not, not quietly, but it's really interesting right? because uh, in, in, my, uh, in my part, uh, I really like new things. <laughs> and it's always but, exciting yes, to see new things. Yes, it's, al it's always exciting to see new things. And, and you know, that helps a lot as we face a new normal to, get, to make that um, paradigm shift. Instead of looking at it something strange, mm, yes. something we are not familiar with, it's good to look at it with fresh eyes. Yes. Although there are adjustments. Of course, we wish to have a face-to-face -face interaction, right? Mm -hmm. right? That's what we, we want right? than having an online class. So you but, see, because we have to tell them that the difference between having an online platform is that you don't have to go to yes. the classroom anymore. Mm. Well, understandably, because we have the pandemic and it's mm. so difficult, especially now that local transmission is real. Yes. So, so we have this online platform. And it is called FSUU Learn. Learn. That is your virtual. This one. Okay, yes. that's our logo. <laughs> that's our logo, FSUU Learn. That is Learn. our virtual campus. Mm. Of course, we still have the physical campus, but mm. since we prohibit people from coming in for reasons we all understand, we go into this platform now. It's being used by the university and powered by Neo LMS. How is your online class, uh, Ms. Rochelle, by the way? Oh, my goodness. During the first week, um, we were overwhelmed with questions because <laughs> yes. our students were newbies in this. Mm. You know, it's the first time we have our online class. Mm. They had a lot to learn. So when they didn't know what to do, they would message us. So yes. I would, my email <laughs> box we would, would always overflow. But that was only during the first week. Yes, makarelate po ko You will get the hang of it, <laughs> di ba? Yes, yes, yes. And 
Also, At midnight, um, you will get a message from your mm, students because they're panicking, they mm, could not access something, etc. Yes, and there are, there are also adjustments. Right? Like in my case, um, I think that the challenging part for the instructor and the student is the communication. Right? Yes, precisely. Because uh, we know that in a regular uh, class, we can easily communicate with one another. Right? That's why There's uh, one good thing of yes, But one good thing about the FSU Learn is because uh, it's that there are features that we can use in in order to communicate, right? Right. right? And it's good to strengthen this communication or this relationship with the student or having this communication with the students using the different features in the LMS. Right? Like, say, for example, during the first time that we had our class, I told them, my mom, Rochelle, na, um, we have to strengthen our communication. That is why every time that I'll post a news at the news section, they then comment. they have to react or comment. So if we put right. it on our, our Facebook, it's like, yeah, you are, actually doing you are asking them for a like mm -hmm. or for a for a comment, but no. In the FS, uh, the reason why I impose that is in order for me to know whether what? my students to were able to yes to receive that information. So my point is, um, there are challenges, but with the platform that we are using, then certainly it can be like mitigate or and can don't be worry because it has already been tested piloted and being used by mm. the teachers now and there are even still ongoing sessions to further master the different nooks and crannies <laughs> of the fsu you learn it's pretty much like doing a social media account yes. actually mm. it's so easy because the interface the use the the use of the FSU you learn is user friendly and yeah. most of us right now are all exposed to social media. Yes. So it's really not a strange animal that we will face when the classes start. It is something that is just waiting there to be explored. Mm. I remember you asked me last time, uh, Ms. Rochelle, whether I mastered already the mm -hmm. usage or, or utilization so of the FSQ it? Learn. And I remember I told you that perhaps or somehow I have mastered the utilization or the usage of FSQ Learn. But I realized, uh, indeed, I have mastered it for a month. Right? Because not even a month. Yeah, actually. not even a month. <laughs> right? Because it doesn't, uh, I realized that it doesn't require you to. Uh, use the LMS for a year, for a semester, it is something very easy. or for a month for you to master it. Right? Mm -hmm. You can master it with just days. It is so easy long. to navigate mm -hmm. and it is easy to explore. Yes. By the way, we are our comment section is open. So if you have questions about the FSU you learn, please post it on our comment section and we will be glad to answer your questions. We have yes. our social media team on the standby right now and we would like to acknowledge them. Hello yes. to our social media team yes. headed by Suzette. We have Maurice Kakai. We have our friends from the from the ASP. From we the have BP also Pablos. Dino and yes. our sound expert here, sound director is Freddie. They can also tag their friends whom they think are, are interested with the topic or FSU Learn. Yep. Uh, yes. This is a very good orientation already into the FSU Learn. Yes. Later on, we will let you see the how it is being done live, uh, real time, so you can ask questions if you yes. have. Okay. And we also encourage them to share the live webcast with a hashtag like FSU you learn, hashtag, hashtag FSU online learn. class, and hashtag on the sunny side. Right. <laughs> we would like to say hello to our friends who are watching right now. Hello to Laarni Juvi. Hello to Kara, Hi, to Manny. Hi, Kara. Hello, Von Jet. I haven't seen you for some time. Hi, Sandy. <laughs> Hi, sir. Hello also to Father Randy, Laika, to Chels, hello, Father to Mari, Miss Maridette Sanchez, the principal of the Morelos campus. Mm. They're watching us right now because they also have their friends. They're inviting their friends okay. to join us in this live webcast. Okay. Okay. You see, FSU you Learn makes online learning relevant as ever. Mm. And this NEU LMS that we're using is one of the best in the world yes so we did not hesitate to choose this because it will help us launch fully into an online class where we have been doing a fully online class already since june 29 and for the summer class we're about to wrap up the classes yes. in august 4. Mm -hmm. and i agree that it's the world's best learning platform because aside from the features are interesting uh, one important thing is that it met the uh, it will uh, certainly meet the desired learning um, learnings for our students. Okay. I think, we yeah. have one question mm. here. 
from Anmei. Anmei, are you yes, really fast? Anmei. Is this an app we can download? Uh, Where do we download this? Yes, I have <laughs> downloaded already an app. I'm using that an app. Uh, it, it can be downloaded at uh, Play Store. I'm not sure with uh, Google. Yeah, you can find Neo LMS. Yes. But how are they going to access into their uh, FSUU Learn? That's the first, okay. first so, step. You have to be enrolled first. Yes, they have to be enrolled <laughs> first, of course. Be an official student of FSUU because along with all the things you will be receiving is what we call the G Suite account. Yes, what is because of course they can account? download the app right, in the Play Store. Yeah, but you don't have but, the access yes, yet. Yes, but they cannot access Until the you are given content. your G Suite account. Yes. What is the G Suite account? So one of the best indicators, if it's an indicator that you have a G Suite account, is when you have an address at email address. That, email address at urius.edu.ph. Using our yeah. domain. So be very careful. I will share to you an anecdote. So in my summer class, I have, I, well, I have to give a special online exam for some students for second semester. <laughs> and I, I required them to give me their G Suite account because I was using that for their online um, exam. Mm. So one of my students said, but I have a problem with my G Suite account because it's not activated yet. So mm. I told her, and I'm also telling you, if you have problems with your G Suite account, send an email to itsd.helpdesk at mm. urius.edu.ph. So when she sent that, she did not realize <laughs> she was already you using sing. her ah. <laughs> G Suite account. Mm. Just check your email address. If it ends with at urius.edu.ph, voila, that's uh, yes. your G Suite account. G Suite account. So how, okay. do, how do they proceed? Okay, so should we have a, like, a demo? Like, okay, we will have a demo in a while. But, first... but, of, but of course, this is, this is just an overview of the online class mm -hmm. because um, I think the university will be scheduling a orientation for of our course. students. Which this, is, is, yes. this is just a foretaste. Yes, so that you can um, at least see what's inside an online class. What are the yep. main features? Yeah? So um, there might be questions about how to use the message, how to use the other features, but... Don't worry because we will have an orientation. I, be, I believe we will have an orientation for our students on how to use these features. Meantime, let us help you introduce you introduce to you uh, by introducing to you the FSU you learn. So when you enroll, uh, one of the things you will get, one of the things that indicates you are officially enrolled is your G Suite account. Yes. For our previous students, uh, everybody who had been enrolled in URI since 2013 already has a G Suite account. Mm. But for most of the students, they are not yet aware of it because as you see, we did not use that for the past years because we had our traditional class. We were inside the classroom. Mm. We didn't really need an online class. But now that we are in this situation, you really have to activate your G Suite account. And I think G Suite account is very useful, not just for our LMS, but you can use it for our for formal communication or for, uh, for yes. other communication. And apart from that, you will email. have access also to Google Drive, yes, to which Google has Hangout, etc. A good storage. So <laughs> let's try to look at it now. How do you, can we show them how to log in into okay. their account? So here's how it looks. Okay, okay, there. So this is the That's it. that's the, the that's how it looks like. Okay. It's urius.newlms.com. Okay, be okay. sure to be there, huh? Yes, and then you click login. Log in. Okay. And, and then log in with Google. That means that you have your to, G Suite account. Yes, already. you have to make sure that you have your G Suite account already. Okay. okay. Then and then we have, a, we have a dummy account for this. Yes, for this. But we will um, input this one para makita again. Okay, that's. Can we, can we show the video? Okay. okay. So there, you put your email or What's your phone address. Email? Usually, it's your uh, G Suite address. Yes. So this is a dummy account. Okay, learn. Okay. So you see, it ends with at urius. At urius Okay, and then you click next. Then, hi, learn student. Okay, hello. So your okay. password, nobody your password. knows your password. Don't worry, I will not look into your password. <laughs> By the way, please keep your password sacred. Huh? Don't share it with anybody. You okay. should not be sharing your account with anybody else. It's all yours. Okay. Okay, so, so this is how it looks like. 
So, presuming that these are your, you have enrolled the for this first semester, so it will appear. Okay, welcome the to your. Subjects. Welcome okay. to your online campus. Okay. So, what are these? You will see all this. These are the different classes that you have. Okay, so it it will appear like this. Of course, uh, when they open their G uh, their FSU Learn, it is still blank mm. because you have not enrolled yet. But yes. this is how it would look like. When you already have classes. Okay. Okay, let's take a look first on top, on um, the top tab. Okay, top. The, tab. the tab on top. You okay. have the envelope. That's the icon for your messages. Message messages. You know, just like our social media accounts, you, you can also send and receive messages here. And there, you see the bell. You know okay. what that is, your notifications. Notification. Yeah. Next, you have the calendar. Mm -hmm. And you can also find that there. And then this one. Okay, this is a very big help because you see, when I was just starting, of course, I was still groping my way around. So I have mm. questions which are very particular. So I pressed this help center mm. and I promise you, they are very prompt in answering your questions. They even send you screenshots to make you understand better how to proceed with your problems. So aside from your teachers, aside from the, your friends, then you can directly ask a question to the help center. Yes, right? later on center. you also have um, something, a video on getting started, but that mm. will be in a while. Okay. okay, so what else do we have here? On the right side, on the okay, right on tab. Okay, on the right tab. Okay, you see, you have that to do things. Okay. Like to do, see there? Set profile There you can set your profile description, of and course. Then? 107 assignments due. <laughs> this student this is, is not doing his <laughs> <Yeah>. task. <laughs> you yes. see, there's no reason actually that you would tell us I forgot about it because it's right there on your right side and it will remind you your assignment due. Mm. Okay. Oh, wait, wait. Still here. Still here. Today. So these are your due today. Yes. So another so, reminder. <laughs> please don't wait for the deadline to do what you have to do. You know, some students may be complaining they have too many things to do for one day. But please remember, your teachers have <laughs> hundreds of assignments to check <laughs> every day. Yes. So uh, to our fellow teachers who are watching us right now, be ready with hundreds of assignments. That is one of the challenges that we have to face. Okay. Okay, wait, let's do a shout out first. We're saying hello to some of our um, friends who are joining us right now. Hello to Andre. Hello to Ameline. Ameline, now you're watching all the way from the north. Thank you for joining, Kapatid. <laughs> Hi, DeJoy, to JS, uh, Rona, who else? We have Anne, Ursel. Can you read the others? Anne, and then Jocelyn, Lanag. Hi, Jocelyn. Mm -hmm. And then Wonder Fort Fortun. Yeah, he's yes, an alumnus. Yes. And a teacher from the basic ed. Hello to Mambelen. Thank Mambelen, you for watching hi. us. Okay, okay, let's proceed now. So, what else? Upcoming. It will tell you of the things that you have to accomplish in the upcoming dates. Mm. See? So, you really have no reason to miss anything. Yes. Unless you forgot to log in. Mm. Okay. That's why you ha they have to remember the G you? Suite account and their what password. Are your, what are your challenges right now? Are there excuses that your students are telling you whenever they miss an assignment? Of course, the, the walang katapusang excuses ang internet, internet. connection. <laughs> yes, internet <laughs> connection. So how about you, Ms. Rochelle? How of do you course, address one of those? The, one of the things that they have to tell me, sometimes a brownout, a sudden brownout, mm -hmm. But don't worry because when you are encoding something on FSU, you learn, it will save your document. Yes. So when it goes out, it's always there when you come back. Mm. And then if you accidentally, well, for the teachers, if you accidentally deleted something, it is somewhere, there's a, there's a place there it. that you can retrieve it. It stays there for one month. Mm. Ah. Okay, so let's get back to our interface okay. there. So what are these boxes? You see, these are the, le the, Less, classes, the classes that you have. So what the number of boxes depends on the number of enrolled subjects. Of course, this, okay. here there are too many because yes. this is a, a dummy a account. Dummy account. Uh, usually, it's a teacher who will add you to the class. Yes. Because we are given a class list. So please don't add yourself to a class which is not yours. You'll be, mm. you'll, I had to unenroll two students who did not belong to my class. I don't know who added them, but 
they they just found themselves in my class and they're not on my list so i had to send them a message and i will tell them so nicely i have to kick them out of the class okay okay so let's take a look so here you have ge 101 understanding the self ge 113 volleyball, volleyball. Yeah. and let's start with getting okay this is something that comes out always for everybody all students getting, yes, started, getting started with, with fsu, FSU right? Right? So it's self-paced meaning it's all up to you when you will um, dive yeah. down yes, and look into, look into what it offers yes okay here so this is what is inside the getting started with fsu you learn so these are the lessons can we try okay. please the getting started guide for students okay the please. first one and you see it shows your um how do you call this it shows your progress mm. example this one uh the student only started 13 percent, so he still has to complete the other 100 minus 13 that makes 87 percent okay mm. so you see here these are on the left side okay, okay left just, side. on the left side these are the subsections oh sorry no 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 oh, no go back i'm <laughs> uh, sorry <laughs> okay okay on the left side these are the subsections Chance. of okay. this uh, module yes okay. the portal portal menu okay for the old students of the basic ed there are no classes yet while there are no classes, no classes going on, we want you to explore already, you are getting started. Okay. okay. One of our colleagues here, Maurice, he told me that he asked his eight-year-old to read the Getting Started FSU You Learn. Hello, to Pia. And Hi. she was already on the 10th page and she mm. said, Daddy, I can't anymore. <laughs> <laughs> so you have to find ways how to make your child read it. By the way, for the basic ed, one of the challenges is for the younger um, pupils. Mm -hmm. The parents have to be there because you cannot leave your young, young, ch young children to do it on their own. Yes. That's a bigger challenge for the parents who have younger students, pupils. Okay. So this is what it contains. See, it will introduce you to everything. Mm -hmm. It will guide you step by step. So you will not get lost in FSU. Okay. okay. There. Then, yes. So if you have a lot of questions, you can always find them in the sub sections. But mm. again, if you cannot find the answers, you can always go to the help center. We are all in, in this, this together. together. Yes. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, wait, we're saying hi first to shout out to our friends. And there are a lot of you who are watching us. Thank you for joining us. Hello yes. to Renny Mar. We have Hazel. Can you please read the others? Hazel and then Flora Delise. Okay, she's okay. our teacher in yes. the basic ed Mom as Flora well Delise. as Bell. Hi, Bell. Bell has a question. Do you extend deadline if ang student ingon nga week ang internet connection? That's the discretion of the teacher. Well, yes. you can already tell if the student has a valid uh, reason. reason. But we have to remind also our students that you enrolled in an online class and it is a given that you have a good internet connection. Mm. Some would say, Mom, we're using data raman good. Yes. But to encourage you, you know, we have a colleague whose um, brother is into the online class. Mm. Kung mawala ang ilahang connection because they had a problem for some time in their home, nangita og diskarte ang bata. So, mm. keyword, discarte. That's no longer the problem of your teachers. Of course, we have to understand. Yes. But yeah. that's also that falls on your responsibility to find a good um, internet connection. Yes. But of course, we will assure you that we will extend our considerations. Oh, we have been very, <laughs> yes. we have been very considerate. Yes. And the way I'm looking at it, the way things are going, our students for our first summer classes have very, very good grades. Yes. <laughs> okay. Hello to a friend who's watching us from Magallanes. Hello, Jan. Hi. Hi, Sir Jan Reb. <laughs> okay. Hi to juries, to Erica. And... If you have questions, don't hesitate to PM us or post it in our comment section. Okay, okay. let's proceed now to our FSU you learn. Okay, so after getting started. Yeah. Okay, let's go and back. And back to back the, to the lessons. lessons. Okay. Okay, so this, we're still on the getting started. Okay, Can we go to the then, other sections, please? This one, no? 
Oh no, the lessons. sorry. The lessons, the lessons. The lessons. Okay, can we click home? Okay, let's home? go home. Home. Okay. If you are in doubt, always go home. I'm not yes. asking you to go home, <laughs> but go home to the home page. Yes. Okay, so let's take a look um, on the left tab, please. Up, up, up. Okay. Ah, okay. One of the things we have to clarify also is you don't need to have the internet connection 24-7 because mm -hmm. right now, for the moment, it is asynchronous. Mm. Meaning, example, I have a class. Uh, our topic now is the Constitution, the 1987 Constitution. Well, very so, interesting. <laughs> oh, yes. Especially in our time. So we yes. did it in such a way that the tasks given have a deadline. Mm. Example, all the tasks for this, it started yesterday and until today, all the tasks for this are to be submitted tonight at midnight. Mm. Now, you don't have to be online the whole day. As soon as you are done with your tasks, then you're okay. Mm, yes. So unlike the traditional classes where we have to go to class, attend at 9 to 10.30, okay, take, the ri take a ride, go to the campus. So that's a traditional class. But with this, with the help of your um, gadgets or your computer, you can attend your class at your most convenient, convenient time, time as yes. long as you beat the deadline. Yes. Okay? Okay. So don't, don't don't be anxious about i have to have 24 hour um, internet connection no sir no ma'am you just have to do your task and after doing your task you're okay 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 so one of the things also one of the challenges that students have is sometimes there are too many things the teachers also are still adjusting but right now we have learned a lot of our lessons mm -hmm. but for the incoming first semester we shall do it in such a way that our students will not be burdened with too many things to do at such a short time. time. Yes. Thanks to our summer classes, you see, we learned our lesson. And the first semester will be a lot better. And yes. Well, we're looking forward <laughs> to it. Because you mm. see, for summer also, uh, the time is too short. So we have to do it fast. Mm. Unlike for the first semester, it is distributed in five months, four months, so it will be a lot um, easier mm. for all of us. Yes. Okay. okay, do we have other questions? Okay. Hello to Theresa, to Ivan, and oh, Bonjet, I really want to talk to you soon. Hi. My heart goes <laughs> out to you. Okay, so let's take a look at the topmost left side of the tab. Okay, there we have the home. Home. We have the catalog and resources because sometimes a teacher would upload resources. Mm -hmm. If it's not found in the lesson, sometimes it is found in the resources of the school. Okay. Okay. What else? Now, how about, um, hey, do we have questions from the students? Sometimes some teachers tend to give us three or more tasks each day. And this would kaayo sa amo a burden rasha. Yes, this would put sa mo mag check. We share the burden actually. Right, but it's because of the schedule. It's yes, summer, right? It's um, summer. It's actually similar with regular class, uh, having a class every day. Uh, Iba ka ng summer class, mag mag summer ka, two hours every day. Uh, every day, day yes. So we're actually, we're doing the same thing. But we will. it will be a lot easier for the first time because as I said earlier, mm -hmm. the classes will be distributed in four months. Mm, yes. Unlike now, it's just more than a month. Right. That's why it's quite heavy. Yes, summer imagine classes, doing it every day, right? <laughs> summer classes are mm. always heavy. Heavy. Mm. Okay, so thank you, Jerry. Okay. Jerry Sahol, I think this is my student. Jerry. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Jerry. <laughs> Jerry, are you okay with our... Um... Uh, shout out also to our students, <laughs> by the way. From GE 101 and from Posse 102, I hope you're doing your task. <laughs> GE 102, readings in Philippine history. I hope you're also... Um, in the thick of preparing all the tasks that we are giving you. Especially that we are about to end this, the summer class mm -hmm. and next week is, all, uh, is already our final examination. Yep. Uh, okay. So again, we would like to uh, make this distinction. Summer classes is always heavy, mm, heavy. because yes. it's a very short time. Whereas if it's the regular semester, we have a longer time. So you don't have to be as fast as you are now in the summer class. Right. It's like... Five months of uh, class right, for a regular semester and then yep. 
isa lang siya kabuuan for summer. Maugyod. Uh, Pila, <laughs> June 29 and it ends in August 4. Four. That's really heavy. It's not only for the students, but also for <laughs> us teachers. Okay. So one tip lang, students, if you have, ah, na ako 10 assignments due today, please remember your teacher have hundreds of assignments to check. <laughs> Mm. Okay. And of course, there are reasons why we are giving you that assignment mm. uh, to really help you learn uh, with the subject. And it helps a lot if you have a good discipline. Mm. Okay. If you can do it first thing in the morning or during the morning, do it right away so that you will be less stressed in the afternoon. Okay. But it's up to you also because me, I am a nocturnal creature. Mm -hmm. I yeah, usually same. do things in the evening when everything is more quiet. And when my cats are asleep. <laughs> okay, so what else? How about, um, can we show them? A lesson or a specific um, lesson? Wait, let us see. Can you go to welcome, please? Welcome. Oh, you see, you're enrolled in 11 classes. Take a look. Okay. Up, 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 up. Ah, okay. yes, enrolled so 11. It, okay, so please check also your uh, study load if you are in the right class. Okay. Okay, can they add themselves to classes? Do students have that? I think it's a teacher, right? Yes, I think. It, I think it's a teacher. Ideally, who it's can the teacher add. should add the mm -hmm. subject. Oh, yeah. the, the students, I mean. And then, can we check the groups? What is okay, the groups the groups. For? Okay. Okay. Oh, you, you can form a group, actually. It's like the group chat. Mm. Okay, one of the things I have to explain also, because sometimes we give tasks to our students as a team. Mm. Okay? Teamwork. So, you don't have to do it all alone. Please know that if you belong to a team, you have a chat group right away. It's a mm. given. So look for that, um, how do you call this, feature. So if you belong to a team, you can chat. You don't have to go out of Neo LMS anymore because you have that feature right inside FS yes. you learn. Okay, my students are actually doing it. Um, the teacher can see you, but I don't read their conversations mm. because the teacher is automatically the admin of those group chats. Mm. Okay. So they can chat their classmates. They can also chat or comment with your own work and only the teacher can see or view. Ah, it. Yeah, yeah, that's nice. Okay, so how do they, how do they uh, make their um, tasks? There are many ways. First is, of course, the ang walang kamatayang essay. <laughs> yes. Okay, but we, we only choose that rarely because we want to have them. We want to give them a more interactive um, task like discussion. Mm. Okay? So we give a question and then at the bottom of the page, they will see discussion and they can write what they think about their answer to the questions we ask. Okay. They can also check a lesson, ma'am. Okay. Yeah, let's check that, a lesson. Like home. Let's home, go to home. And then go to your class. Enrolled. There's enrolled. And then example, okay. this G101. Okay. He is a teacher. <laughs> yes, I'm the teacher of G101. So look, it's like I'm, uh, I'm showing, you our, showing you my classroom. <laughs> okay. okay. Welcome to Mr. G101. Basadra's class. Okay. So first one is the assignment since final exam is fast approaching. That would be next week. Okay. So there's an announcement. Okay. okay final exam. Oh, that's ah, the announcement. Yes. There's an announcement. Okay, and then... You know, I haven't used that feature yet, huh? Hmm, <laughs> I'll be <you> using that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so August 3, 2020 is the final exam. And then, of course, the end is 4 for the final assessment. Okay. Okay. Then the lessons. The Let's lessons. go to the lessons. Okay, okay, the lessons. okay, so here are the sample lessons okay. of G101. Okay. Who am I? Yes, the perspectives of the self. Yeah. Okay, and then you will see that there is a date. Can we go up, please? Mm -hmm. There is a date when it was given. Okay. Okay. June 30. Whenever a teacher gives a lesson, you are always automatically notified. So mm. please don't tell us, Mom, what you go kasayud, Mom. That's baloney. Okay. In this time of um, technology, it's almost a sin to say I don't know, mm. okay. unless yes. unless you did not log in. Okay. And if you notice, uh, it shows that you have to start with the first lesson and okay. you cannot proceed with the second lesson because uh, it's already, uh, it's, it's still locked, right? Okay. The, the because second, the third, we can customize it in such a way that you have to start from lesson one, do it chronologically mm. because we don't, need, we don't want you to skip anything. So what are the tasks we give them? Uh, we can give them the lesson through video. Yes. We can give you a lesson through PowerPoint with a video or audio. I do that because I don't want you to look 
uh, into a static PowerPoint, or we can ask them to read, um, do some readings. Mm, yes. Okay. We, uh, uh, offline readings. Can we huh? try and look into one of your lessons, please? Okay. So, yeah, let's go to my teacher account. Okay, so right now I'm teaching two subjects. Okay. okay. It's Let's like opening look. my classroom to so everyone. <laughs> so G11 and then Pause 102. So okay. let's understanding click is, understanding the. I'd like to understand myself. Yes. <laughs> Which is a continuous process, by the way. Oh, yeah. Um, okay, so this is how it would look like inside the class. That's true. So and this is a teacher them. account. Okay. Ah, okay, this okay. is a teacher account now. Oh my God, Neymar. Okay, teachers, for the basic ed, teachers are doing video recording for the younger students. So there is an interaction somehow, mm. okay? Because I know the students, you know, the little children, they cannot um, stand anything without any interaction. So there will be videos to, to, to give demo to our students for the basic education. And this is where the parents come in. Mm. You have to be with your children anyway most of you are in the house working from home mm -hmm. so be with your children this will be also one of the best ways to bond with them to mm -hmm. be by their side as they learn more as they enter into this new normal yes that's okay. right let's okay. take a look again can we take a look at the... one section okay i'll go okay. to one of my favorite lessons Nagideko favorite lessons now of course this is, what is it? unpacking the self political self political of self you're yeah. a, you're a <laughs> because i'm a political science, science <laughs> <laughs> instructor so i'll click this one and okay, then okay and then here are the Activi activities or tasks. Okay, so this uh, is how it looks like. These are the different sections. Okay. Activate, acquire knowledge, application, assessment, and assignment. Okay. okay and uh, then in every section, there are subsections. Can yes. we take a look at the, the political self? The what, ma'am? Political self. This one? 11.1, yes. Inside the... Uh, Ah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, because they, you will see my uh, okay. uh, the task, right? So, so usually, um, the tasks are there. For example, you will see this icon. Yes, a discussion. that is a discussion. Oh, can right? you please point then, it out? This is a discussion. Oh, okay. That means the students have to write something. And even the teacher, they can discuss things like there is a discussion prompt that oh. what is a self. How do you know? you, how do you usually check your discussion part? Uh, uh, it based on the instruction because uh first i i require them uh, to post not just a substantive mm -hmm. comment or post but also when they follow the instructions like they have to comment also with uh, the uh, with the works of their classmate uh, okay what i do actually when i do discussion is of course they send their assignment mm -hmm. but i usually give comments mm -hmm. uh, some sometimes a lengthy comment on something because we cannot talk uh, live. So I give my comment as a form of feedback to my student. And they also answer. For example, what is your source? Why did you say this? What do you mean by this? And they also message me back. And that is a form of uh, interaction between the student and the teacher. But of course, you can always have a video conference with your yes. students, which you do, right? Yes. Um, I think once because the rest is asynchronous. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then we also have a survey icon. This one is a survey icon. We, I, I want to click this one to show you, but, sure. but basically I don't want you to see what's inside of it because gusto na ko mo ipa-enroll sa mo. Pa-enroll sa mo before na ko ipakita ang naasa sa lol. Okay. Okay, and there, there, are, there is also a group or team activities. Okay, and of course, uh, for understanding the self, ang walang kamatayang essay also, okay. <laughs> a reflection. Well, that's the 11.5, the political self-assessment. So that is how actually a lesson rolls out. You mm -hmm. have there the stages. And that depends on the lesson and how many days it will take. Mm -hmm. Sometimes, example, now we're talking about the Constitution. We cannot talk about it lengthily. We just have to focus on something. Mm -hmm. So it takes us two days. Yes. But it doesn't mean... 48 hours for the students, okay? We usually um, make it in such a way that the student will only um, spend four hours because mm. usually every day for summer classes, it's good for two hours. Or okay. we're almost 
up with our and time. And then I'll just add, they can also see the their friends or not not really friends, but those people who are online, right? In the in the right side. Is it in the right side? Yes. This one. Okay, online. So okay, shout yeah. out to Daphne Magtibay who is currently working Hi, her um, FSU Learn well, lessons. Don't forget hi, your Daphne. promise. <laughs> Hello to Mom Arlene Floretta. Yes, hi Mom Arlene. Okay, we have here some questions. What about for the grade school in Morelos Campus? They still need books. Mm -hmm. uh, we we will we will have the answer for that next time because we're still waiting for uh, how they will roll out yes. their school year. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you, Maridel, for your question. And we have, okay, already a heads up for the next episode, it will be questions about the enrollment. Okay, Ang so we'll talk about enrollment. enrollment. Uh, okay, yes. another question. What if there's a message sent to your Gmail account saying your Google password for Father Saturnino Urius University has been reset by your administrator, but I didn't mind it. Okay, you can always, please, for G Suite account um, problems or issues, please email to itsd.helpdesk yes. at urius.edu.ph. Please write it down, itsd.helpdesk at urius.edu.ph. You check okay. your email within 48 hours, they will send you the answer to your mails. Mm. Um, give us time because there are not only a dozen students who send their mm. emails, we have hundreds of them. Okay. okay? Kaiser, I hope that answers your question. Uh, another one, regarding the email, I haven't received any mail from your respective office, hoping for your response. Hello, Han. Uh, again, send your... Um, Tell us about your problem through itsd.helpdesk at urius.edu.ph Sa school, wala po kasi sa advisor namin yung soft copy ng credentials. Wala din akong Facebook account. Wala din po ako Facebook account nung nag-handle ng credentials. Okay, we have an official page for the F. SUU Registrar. Registrar. Yes. And then if you have more questions, please visit us on our website at www.urius.edu.ph. There you will find a primer. Primer is something that tells you all the questions you can think of about enrollment. Mm -hmm. Okay? And there you have also the contact details. Mm -hmm. We will not leave you hanging there. We will give you addresses where you can send your questions. But how about questions regarding the programs? Where do they send their um, questions? We encourage you to send your questions or queries on the official pages of the departments. Mm -hmm. uh, right? I think that a uh, majority of the departments have their own um, I think it's um, the, the, the email accounts are given on our FSU FB page. It's yes. there. Hi mm. to Merlin watching us all the way from the U.S. Okay. Hi to Irene. Ah, so the sound went out. So the sound is back. So we were mute for a while. Now we're no longer mute. Okay. Okay. What else? Um, Pam, I, I hope that um, that already answered your question. Mm. Hello to Janika. Thanks for watching. Hello to yes. Ranil. Shout out. Hi, Ranil. Ranil. <laughs> be ready, Ranil. Ranil. Aliman, <laughs> one of our COM instructors. Communication Who was arts. our student here before. Now yes. he's one of the instructors. Mm. Okay, so please don't hesitate. If you have questions, ask your questions. Because if you won't ask your questions, we cannot give you the answer. Mm. Right? And don't hesitate to look for the addresses, the contact details. Mm. It's all given on our FSU official FB page. You have there all the contact details. Also on our website, if you have questions regarding the things, the way things are going now with the enrollment and yes. the classes. So we're telling you that there are so many ways to communicate with the university. Right? Yeah. Right? There are so many pages. But if you're, if you are, if the if a particular page were not uh, was not able to respond with your queries, then there is also the FSU but one city page, and then we have the uh, you can also call us in our um, official telephone number right? and also the website right? so there are so many ways to communicate with the university and if you have um, questions regarding your program regarding your division mm -hmm. 
please go directly to your division or your programs, FS, uh, mm -hmm. Facebook, yes, um, Facebook, how do you call this, Facebook account, so that they will, because, so that, um, that divides the traffic of the questions. Yes. Okay. Okay, what else? Um, there are no more questions here. Hello to our friends who are watching us, Christil to Axil. Hello, Ma Vicky, watching all the way from Cebu. Yes. Hi. Who else are watching us? There are around 173 people who are watching us. Please, if you have questions or if you have friends who have similar questions to ask, please refer them to on the, the sunny, sunny side. side. That's okay. every Tuesdays, Tuesdays and Thursdays. Thursdays. 10.30 to 11.30. 11 30. And we're about to end. Oh my goodness. It's almost yes, time. time. So, okay. You can also watch this later on FB. Because yes. what's good with FB is they save our live video and they mm -hmm. put it yes. on our FB page. So you can review it if there are things that you did not understand, things that you would like to review. You can always go back to it. Okay. Again, we would like to thank our friends, the social media team, Suzette, yes, media Maurice, team. Kakai, Dino, our friends from the ASP, our sound director, uh, Freddie, <laughs> <laughs> he's dancing yes. right now. Um, and we would like to thank the bookstore for our shirt. We uh, have to wear our shirt. If you want to buy more shirts, FSU. we still have more. <laughs> you know where our bookstore is. Yes. Okay. Okay. So, what else? That's it. Um, if there are some things they need to know, uh, for the teachers, by the way, um, there are still sessions going on to help you navigate through our FSU you learn. learn. Please ask your dean, because right now I think for the ASP, we, have, we will have um, sessions soon, right? Mm -hmm. With Master Joseph. Uh, yes. <laughs> He's one of our... <laughs> Oh Master my goodness. Joseph Elroy Cashon. <laughs> he is our he is our to go to go to person when we have questions about well, the FSU. FSU learn. Learn. Okay. There are many things you need to know and really we, we are, are all, all in, in this, this together. together. Yes. Okay. okay. So another shout out. Hello to our friends who are watching. Hello to Crystal. Belle, thank you for watching. Hi, Erin Amante, also my student in summer class. She's a, G101. She was my student last second, Sam. <laughs> yes. Hello to Ralph Densi. Uh, to Webster Montero is watching. Hi, uh, Webster. Yeah, nice to see you again. Hello to John Besinga. Mm -hmm. To our friends who are, some of them are not uh, posting anything, but I know you are watching. Mm -hmm. I hope this helps you. Because, as we said, we are all in this together. Mm. Walang maiwan ha, walang yes. iwanan. Okay? Kung ma mabiyaan ka, well, that's not something <laughs> that we would like to do. But please don't get left behind. Yes. Okay. We're saying hello also to Lori who's watching us downstairs. Hi, Lori. Thank you for providing the things we needed. <laughs> Who else? Okay. Ah, okay. Ha, ma'am ma Vicky. She says, I'm still connected there. Of course you are. tag iya biya kasi sa kaposte de dis una, ma'am. Okay, what else? It's almost I time. Guess. How many minutes do we have? So we have to say goodbye One. now. Okay. Thank you for joining us. Join us again on uh, Thursday. Thursdays. And okay. this Thursday, we'll be talking about some questions you have. Actually, there are hundreds of questions That's about so the enrollment. We'll try to address the most basic questions on the enrollment. Okay. Enrollment is still going on, right? Yes. Okay. It's all online. Hmm. So you have all... You, uh, okay, I will not uh, go ahead of the story. You will see all the procedures. This next episode on... Okay, classes start on, on August, August 24. 24. But you will see, we will see you again on Thursday. So please don't forget. Yeah. Stay close to us. Okay. And at this time of pandemic, Uriens. Uriens, let your light shine. And always choose to be on, on the, the sunny, sunny side. side. Thank okay. you and Thank see you, you again on Thursday. See you on Thursday. Yay!